Hello, this is Brekel. Uh, today we're going to be looking at unboxing the new Connect for Windows version 2 sensor. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so let's have a look what's in the box. Well, as you can see, this is not an actual uh, sensor that's on the market. This is actually a developer preview, so it can be considered alpha. So what you see here um, probably resembles what is going to be on the market next year, 2014. Um, so that's a little waiver there, some stickers. And there we go, that looks to be the sensor. Let's see if we can get that out. Now this sensor is based on the uh, same sensor that comes with the Xbox One, um, but this is the uh, version for the PC, so there will probably be some differences. Um, so there's some nice stickering that's stuck on there. You can see the video camera, there's the depth sensing and the um, infrared cameras in there. This seems to be like the microphone bar. Ah, it has a nice little um, little bolt to bolt it on a tripod, I suppose. And there's no longer a motor, but we can tilt it by hand. It's quite a bit range. And also the, the sensor itself is supposed to be much uh, wider field of view. It does feel a little bit heavy. Oh, there's a little, a little fan on the back. So let's set that aside and have a look at the plug. Okay, so this does look like a proprietary plug. Um, um, it will connect to USB 3 on the PC. But we'll probably have some breakout box in there. So let's continue. See what else is in the box. There we go. That's the breakout box. I've heard that this is only part of the developer preview at the moment, so this will not uh, eventually ship. That will be a much cleaner solution. So it seems like that connects to the sensor. And then in here we have a power connector. So the junk aside. See what else is in here. Okay, yeah, there's some more stuff saying that it's a development kit and not the actual unit yet. And that seems to be the power brick. And a whole bunch of power, different power cables for around the world. And there we go, that's a USB 3 cable. I'm not going to bore you with all the cabling shit, so I'll just do that later. And let's have a quick look at the power brick. So yes, it seems like this will connect in here. It's always 50% chance, you'd say. Let's figure that out. Let's have an actual look at the sensor, because that's the most interesting thing. And also, let's have a look on how it compares to the original Connect. That's an original connect, that's the new one. They seem to be about the same size. It's a little bit smaller in the width. Depth is the same. It's a little bit lower. Uh, it does feel the weight is also comparable. Um, and let's actually bring in like a prime sense sensor, just for comparison. So that is actually a little bit smaller, but also a lot less capable. These two than the new one. So there we go. That's the new sensor, and um, I'll be posting some more videos once I've uh, gone into using it and uh, see what the data streams look like.